bro it's been a minute literally i filmed something like three weeks ago and never uploaded it and then i gained weight got sick all of that stuff so listen here's an update because if there's one thing that's true as i'm stirring the celery apple juice water it was actually not bad by the way you might froth there let me tell you something if there's one thing that's true is that god knows me like i be thinking that i know myself but really i just know how to self-sabotage you know what i'm saying it's like when you think you know yourself you just know what works and what doesn't for your healthy semi-healthy self but god knows that's all i have to say okay so i am doing something a little bit different um my hair is busted and you guys don't know this because i literally haven't uploaded in a year i got married i finished my mba program i bought a house um i got promoted all these things my hair's been falling out i'm stressed um i'll insert stuff here but my hair was so long when i went to go get my hair done by my hairstylist shout out to melissa she's amazing if you're in the plano area she didn't look at me crazy when i told her that i don't put stuff in my hair um she completely understands the science of sebum of hair actually anyway that was an amazing experience here are clips here and there it was an amazing experience i loved it and one of the things that we did was cut my ends because i noticed that yes like my hair was long and stuff or getting longer it was reaching like my you know some some blessings down below and but it was like my ends were so stringy they were crying out for help literally crying out for help um that's not like the lord said he would prosper us like why are my ends crying out for help um and it really just boils down to the fact that i if there's one thing i do consistently it's neglect myself like literally as soon as i got sick and i stopped going to the gym I was still very much motivated. Also, shout out to Soma because they make some amazing bras. This is a, um, I've, and I've been sweating. I have the flu. I'm sick again. <laughs> I have the flu. So this needs to be washed. But, and I was like super sweating last night and all that stuff. Um, and I don't sweat at night. So I don't know. There's a lot of things going on. And y'all just pray for me. But anyway, anyway, if there's one thing that I know that I do consistently that I need like breakthrough from, okay? It's neglect, okay? It's self-sabotage. Why? Why? Why can't I be consistently <laughs> blessing myself? Why am I blocking my own blessings? Anyway, so I'm really just on here because this is a vlog. If you're looking for a tutorial, this ain't it, okay? This is a vlog. And the goal is to basically show y'all where my hair is at because, again, it's been a year. And my hair hasn't grown that much. Like, it's grown back to where it was maybe two months before I cut it, a year ago. So it should have grown six inches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, no, no, because I had consistently done the wrong things. So I'm tired of myself. You ever get tired? I'm tired of myself. Just like when I started working out three weeks ago, I'm tired, I'm tired. My body is craving to be fit, craving, like craving it. Like, it doesn't understand why we live a sedentary life. Like, just because you're behind a computer and having meetings all day doesn't mean you have to, like, suffer. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm on here because if there's one thing that, that does help is when I check in with my friends, right? I do check-ins, like, mentally, socially, you know, spiritually, and I check in with God. And that's what sets me on track. So, I'm not really checking in with anyone on my hair, clearly, Clearly, I'm not checking in with anyone on my hair. So, this, I'm just going to take this seriously. And, um, you know, you can watch or not. I don't, I just, I need to, you know, put it on record, you know. So, today, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a very long time. And that is using a board bristle brush on my hair, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. The reason why I'm doing that is because, oh, guys, okay. So I, I, um, I'm going to change some things up with my hair. Um, 
And I'm gonna be using oil, like hot oil, well, warm oil. Y'all know that I don't really use oil like that on my hair because my sebum is so um, strong, I guess I'll say. But if there's, I think there's just a couple of things that play here. One of them, I did an apple cider vinegar cleanse, which was really great. I haven't done that in a long time too. Can you imagine? Um, I did that just a few days ago, but then I kept my hair in a bun. So like my hair, my hair dried, like stretched curly and still like <laughs> not detangled. Like what's wrong with me? So I just, I'm using a little bit of oil to coat my strands and I'm gonna detangle my hair with the oil. This is hemp seed oil. Um, and I actually was supposed to put essential oil in it. So let me do that real quick. Um, I'm just doing this so that I can use the boar bristle br brush because when I was rinsing my hair the other day, like a couple of days ago, my, my scalp, like my roots, excuse me, were not like, they were getting wet and then they were just like shrinking back up and getting wet and shrinking back up. And it was very strange. It was very, my hair is just very strange. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not, you guys are, I'll probably like come back later to show you what my hair looks like after the fact. Um, and then I'll do another video where I will do, I will stretch my hair with, uh, the Rev Air and do a, um, a stretch style. Probably do that tomorrow or something like that. This brush is not clean. So that's awkward. How am I supposed to use a dirty brush? Not prepared. Not prepared at all. And this is what I'm talking about. That's okay. I might have to use this smaller brush, which is okay. It's still board bristle. Okay. Oh gosh, I've been doing wash and goes in the summer. You guys missed that, all of that. Um, I did have a bomb wash and go like a, three years ago. No idea. And, and I've been trying to recreate it ever since. Um, so there's that. And then I'm going to be doing braid outs and stretch braid outs for the fall stretch styles in the winter stretched like straight here in the winter braid outs in the spring wash and goes in the summer if this is the, you know if i want variety like let me at least stick to something the things that make sense for my hair so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm also like i don't know maybe you guys can talk to me because i literally like you should have seen me yesterday my i was so like swollen and i do that a lot i get swollen a lot This is just pretty good. I'm on my period right now, so that might also be it. But I get swollen a lot and I just don't, I don't appreciate it. I just don't appreciate it. The only thing that's really helped me is um, Green, what's her name? Bloom. The Bloom Greens. I've been following her, um, Marie, for like, since she started losing weight, actually. Incredible. I was like, I'm with you, girl. <laughs> and I was. I was one of her very first guides. I bought it and I, that was my best year, bro. My best year before I even bought her, her guide actually, I was like on the treadmill every day, just trying to like, you know, work out my strength and stuff like that. And I can just feel, even when I went to the gym, I did two weeks straight and it was amazing guys. I just felt so like my body was like, yes, this is what, this is what I'm made for. I'm made for being used like i'm not just made to sit here while you watch netflix or sit here for eight hours during the day and then another three hours at night in school no what 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 oh my hair yeah it's not really like my hair was a little bit longer than this last year but my anniversary is coming up it's been a year crazy bro crazy it's been a year. Um, ooh, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is, this isn't the brush that I wanna use, but 
we're here now. So I just want to make sure that the sebum is coming down. And I haven't done that in, I haven't been intentional in a while. So but yeah, it's been years since I've been married, y'all. Marriage is crazy. It ain't for the faint of heart. It's literally for those who want to look like Jesus. Like literally, if you don't want to do that, don't get married. Um, Because I think we think that it's about like, oh my God, we're finally going to get someone who like loves us and like treats us the way that we know we're supposed to be treated. <laughs> You know, and low key old boy is thinking the same way. So, what gives you the right to be selfish? What gives you the right to be thinking that you're doing your behavior to manipulate someone to treat you better? A lot of women actually do that. And there were some instances where I would be praying, and the Lord is like, Why are you trying to tell me? Why are you trying to pray for things as if you're trying to, like, um, you're, you're guising the way that you're praying for him. Like you're not praying for him. You're complaining about him in hopes that I do something. But like, why? And that was early on in our relationship. And it's like, well, why, why are you not praying for him? Why don't you just pray? Why don't you see what I see and pray what, what, I, what I tell you to pray? <laughs> if y'all ain't ready for that, don't get married. Because I... Marriage is supposed to be a healthy place, a healthy place, okay? And if you're not willing to be healthy for the sake of your own character, like not for the sake of like, you know, finally getting what you want to get or, okay, well, I'm just going to pretend to be this person so that, you know, I can get this. No, if you're not willing to be healthy for the sake of your character, then don't get married. And in that same regard, like, you know, I was watching an old video a while back. Tw what was it? Like 2020, 2019, when I felt very heavily the Lord was like, grow your hair out. And I'm like, why? That is too much. Like, no. I mean, like, yes, it would be nice to have long hair. But whenever I wear wigs, I am very happy. I am ecstatic to take them off. Because all that length is, it gets high. The tangle, you like, ah. And I just remember the Lord asking me like, you need to learn patience. You need to learn how to wait for something. How to consistently work towards something and wait for the result. I said, ah, uh -uh. have I not been waiting my whole life? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, I really haven't, honestly. I really haven't. And that's the other thing that I've learned about myself recently, or not recently, but through all of this too, is like, you know, Stephanie E.K. said like, was it Stephanie E.K.? I don't, I don't remember who said this, but there's something that I heard that was like the area that you're struggling the most in, um, and doing something like either consistently or whatever is the area where you, where you need more faith. And faith is like the evidence of things hoped for, right? I don't think I was really hoping to lose weight. I think I was just annoyed that I gained weight. I was, I actually was not like, not once in the past like three years have I hoped, like had a deep hope to lose weight, to lose this fat and a hope to be healthy. I was angry with myself for just not doing it. Like it was just a bunch of like, oh, what's wrong with me? Like, this isn't who I am, blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't just like, no, like I'm gonna have, I'm gonna push positive thoughts towards this and I'm going to move with the intention of, move with the desire that, with the hope that in my movements, this result will happen. And seeing it here before I see it physically, that's faith now, that's faith. You're seeing it and you're behaving as if it's already done. So if I if I was already healthy, what would I be doing? This. And really, I wouldn't even be getting to this point because my hair, I would be doing this on a weekly basis. I mean, um, twice a week, doing the same like preening and scratching and all that stuff. I would be doing that. I have not done that in years. 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 And it's crazy, like, honestly, it's crazy how much my hair grew 
in that first year of me doing like the water mostly method, it's really not water only, like that's not how, they say that it's water only, but water only is just in regards to like styling. It's not in regards to how you take care of your hair. It's in regards to styling. I think there's a misconception that water only people don't cleanse their hair, don't cleanse their scalp. But a lot of people will use apple cider vinegar rinses, which has been known to like be anti-inflammatory and you know actually clean the scalp like declog the scalp without messing up your sebum um some people use herbs like soap nuts or aretha you know and all that stuff so it's it's a misconception and i i wish that there was a way to clear that up maybe i'll make another video about that but it's a, it's literally the same thing as people who um only use grease like they wash their hair and then they use grease. It's the same thing. And when you're, when you wash like with heavy saponins and it's not, it's not a problem. I think like in the past year that I've used like shampoos, well, I've used a shampoo once and then I've gotten my hair shampooed. But in that, in this past year, like my hair is fine. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. My hair is not falling out because of shampoo. My hair is falling out because of inconsistency. <laughs> Inconsistency. Hey, that's what's that's the issue. So, okay, Amara, don't don't pull your hair. Just be gentle. You see, and it's like I have fine strands. You guys, I have the most. You, people want to talk about four C hair. Four C hair is not difficult. Fine hair, like I feel like it's not even about four C because you can be four C. It's that's the curl pattern. You can be four C and still have fine strands. People who have fine strands like me. And I thank you, Lord. That's probably why my name is Grace, like grace of God. Amara means grace of God. Because it takes so much patience and grace to deal with fine hair. It's not just because you have like, you know, I have like medium density. So it feels like my hair, my strands are thick because I'm dealing with all of them all at once. No, my strands are very fine and I don't treat them like that. They say that fine strands are to be treated like silk. Eh? Silk. Soup that you, you can't even wash. You have to go do dry cleaning. Nah, I, I don't do that. And so it's a mindset shift too. Like, how am I thinking about my hair? Like, how do I really think about it? Like right now I'm annoyed, right? I'm, I am. I'm annoyed because I'm like, oh my God, like, that's what I was to do. <laughs> so I gotta do that. <laughs> you know? And I'm thinking about like, I actually, even though I have the flu and I really should just be resting, but I don't know how to rest, which is also a problem. Um, so instead of doing that, I'm annoyed that about with my hair and I just want to be done because I want to get to the computer and start doing work because even though I'm sick, like, no, but my job is I'm a director. So like, who's going to, who's going to do it? But let me tell you something. If someone else were saying this, what would I say immediately? It's, it's always going to be there. That thing is not going anywhere. I don't know where you're rushing to. Will they die if you don't respond today? Unless you're a doctor, I beg. Shift. So, anyway, y'all. Anyway, self, person, whatever, whoever I'm talking to, I hope that this blesses you. Um, I'm probably, when I stretch my hair today, I'm going to trim my hair. I don't really do good trims. But I don't want to pay. I just don't want to go somewhere to cut my hair. I need to be more gentle. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. All of this got to go. For real. I really just need to like go back to chin lane and start over. Um. Anyway, so I learned a lot like... And it's not that I'm not self-aware. I think like it just stops there because I don't have, it's optional. And it is, it is an option to be better. Like it's not by force. Nothing really is by force, Abby. But again, like if you, if you, if you opt out, then don't complain. How about that? 
Just like when I eat dairy and I'm like, you better not complain, say nothing about your stomach because you know you're lactose intolerant and you know that you have dairy alternatives. You literally buy them. Oh, I'm gonna make my own pizza. Ugh. And then when you're actually craving pizza, instead of you to go out and make your pizza, you're ordering, ordering delivery because I can't be bothered. Nigga, what? Then you're wondering why you have pimples. Let me tell you something. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of myself. <laughs> like, I really am. Like, I'm. I'm actually tired. Which is why I'm. Which is why I'm recording. Because I would have put. I would have pushed this off. I would have been like, mm, I need to do work. I can. No. Y'all gonna do this now. You're gonna take your time, and you're not gonna be stressed. Okay. You're gonna do this now. So. Yeah. It's so I don't understand I don't really understand what's happening, but I know that this will be helpful for sure. I like I don't know why I'm using hemp seed oil. I think maybe because it's light and um I mean I feel that it penetrates the hair strands, but I've never actually looked at the science of like the size of the molecules and if it's permeable or not. I only know of three oils that are actually permeable. Um <laughs> I don't know if hemp seed is, but it is fast absorbing because it's very light. It's high in um, linoleic acid, which helps with oil distribution and um, oily skin. And so this is almost kind of like a cleansing effect ish, but not really. I'm not treating it like that. I'm really just applying it so that there's some sort of lubrication as I detangle because my, cause my hair is dry. And and it will be here for the it'll be here for the uh, the brush as well because I already know my hair is not okay <laughs> it's not okay it's not okay um, I'm adding so I'm just doing like a few like this probably like a pea size amount and then like one drop or two of sweet orange essential oil just because i like the way that orange essential oil smells sweet orange and because i know that orange essential oil is good for the hair most essential oils are good for the hair they're great so that's what i'm doing i really just wanted to come on here i'm gonna post this video just like this um i appreciate you watching and I will catch you guys, I'll catch you guys later. Like, I really just, oh, I really just don't, under, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of myself. In the same way that I had to change how I approached marriage um, and men in general, like, it's the same way that I need to approach myself and work and all that stuff. So sorry that my, you guys are seeing all the things, but sorry, not sorry. I don't know. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow or later when I use the Red Bear. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I just know I need to do this. I'm checking in to do that. All right, take care. Bye.